Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan. This is the introduction to Chapter 4 on Media Management. Apple's goal with Final Cut Pro 10 is to create a rock-solid, single-user media workflow that helps editors avoid losing media. To do this, Apple consolidated the import, log and capture, and log and transfer screens into a single interface. They also decided to allow editing video either natively in the original camera format or optimized for faster performance and potentially better image quality. Final Cut 10 supports importing from a file-based camera via cards or after copying those files to a folder on your hard disk. It supports importing either stills or video from a DSLR or HDSLR camera, a tape-based camera or deck connected via Firewire, an iMovie project, an iMovie event library, files stored on your hard drives, and a camera archive from tape or tape-less media. The movies in this chapter explain how to set import preferences, explain how and why to optimize and analyze media, illustrate the different ways you can import media, illustrate how to import iMovie projects and media, show how to size and import still images, show how to move, consolidate, and back up projects and media, including how to create a camera archive for both tape and tapeless media. Keep in mind that many video formats require driver updates from camera vendors before they can be used in Final Cut 10, so be sure to confirm compatibility before beginning any project. Final Cut 10 does not support capturing from videotape using timecode or RS-422 to control playback. And it doesn't allow hiding media. All event folders are always available. The best way to hide media, say for a proprietary project, is to move the event folder out of the Final Cut Events folder using the Finder. This chapter is all about media management. And my name is Larry Jordan. Thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro 10 training.